And CNN can now project that Barack Obama, 47 years old, will become the president-elect of the United States. The American people voted for change. Barack Obama, sworn in as the 44th president of the United States. Republicans will be powerless to stop them. The power to steamroll his agenda through the Senate. They said this day would never come. They voted for Democrats to take our country in a new direction. Change has come to America. We're going to do everything we can to work with the Republicans. We pledge to work together in a bipartisan way with great civility, with great fiscal discipline. It was the day when Americans claimed back their country. Preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States. So help you God. So help me God. I have ordered the closing of the detention center at Guantanamo Bay. Definitely it's closing. It should be closed, and it is being closed. Obama has admitted publicly for the first time that the January 2010 deadline for closure will not be met. The American people don't want those terrorists in our country. Yes, and did not anticipate when the president on this very day a year ago made a very emphatic declaration. One year from now, Gitmo will be closed. That, that would be an impossible task to fulfill. It is clearly the administration's most conspicuous failure. You can't deny it. Let me tell you where they ought to be. They ought to be right there in the jail in Guantanamo. I've proposed an American recovery and reinvestment plan to immediately jumpstart job creation. Any plan that comes out has to create between three and four million uh, jobs. We have created or saved 640,000, 640,239 jobs. This number has been inflated and it's been inflated by miscounts, wrong numbers. It's just throwing money at the wall and people are very frustrated. The original stimulus initiative was supposed to Keep the unemployment at about 8%. But unemployment rose to 8.5%. 9%. 10.2%. It is worse than economists have been expecting. We and everyone else misread the economy. I've proposed a budget that cuts our deficit in half by the end of my first term. The Obama budget will deepen the deficit worse than originally thought. It spends too much, it taxes too much, and it borrows too much. Then why did he decide to sign a budget bill today loaded with questionable projects? It would double the public debt in five years, triple it in ten years. Congress is likely to have to authorize a raising of the debt ceiling. The headline is Obama. I hate all this pork and I approve it. And we're closer than we've ever been to passing real meaningful health insurance reform. Seeing those premiums rise. Increase in premiums. New taxes. Big fat tax increases. Who's going to cut Medicare? Medicare cuts. I'm confident that both the House and the Senate are going to produce a bill before the August recess. He wanted the Senate and the House to pass health care reform by the August recess. That's the end of the first week in August. That is looking a little bit harder to achieve. And there were artificial deadlines that were set time and time again from March to April to May to June, July, August, September, October. It's gone on. Christmas now is a deadline. State of the Union's a deadline. Why not just try to get it right? People are turning up in record numbers to these town hall events, and the temperature is rising. You don't trust me? What I see is a bureaucratic nightmare, Senator. Medicaid is broke, Medicare is broke, Social Security is broke. And you want us to believe that a government that can't even run a cash for clunkers program is going to run one seventh of our U.S. economy. Private coverage will continue to decrease. They don't want a government run health care system. They want to have choice. We will step back, uh, start over. The president tries to stop the bleeding as shell shock Democrats try to salvage health care reform. In the future of your health care, you can't see it, but it's happening behind closed doors. Behind closed doors. That's the door, anyway, that uh, the chief negotiators are now meeting. Behind closed doors. Behind closed doors. Dodd and Bacchus and Reed are behind closed doors with Rahm Emanuel. The American people are asking us to stop this bill and start over. Stop and slow down. To start over. Start all over. We need to push the reset button. Start working together 
step by step. Washington Post poll, it finds President Obama with his lowest approval rating yet. 50% approve of his performance in office. That's a steep drop from February. Zogby's interactive poll and uh, Rasmussen Reports poll shows the president's approval rating below 50%. People just aren't happy with what's going on on the economy, not, not particularly happy on health care. Now they're looking at the president in a policy issue area, and they don't like it. The devs, they're down 10 points from where they were four months ago. Well, yeah. The country's a, shifting Republican. Senator Harry Reid is in danger of losing his U.S. Senate seat. Lincoln is already facing an uphill battle for her re-election in 2010. Three renowned Democrats all say they will not seek re-election next year. Well, uh, there's some panic. There's no question about that. The message from voters across the country on Election Day, they're not happy. It's what propelled Republicans Bob McDonnell and Chris Christie to their victories in both states. Brown, a little-known state senator, defeated a Democrat Martha Coakley in a state where Democrats far outnumber Republicans. The party in power in the White House and on Capitol Hill got thumped decisively. The breakdown in the recent Gallup poll of registered voters, 48 percent would vote Republican, 44 percent vote Democrat. Republicans won big. 